Right, so there are three ways you can mount a cylinder head temperature gauge on a paramotor or any other small engine obviously. Um, <clears throat> the first way is what Blackhawk recommends. You take a standard spark plug with the crush washer on it and just thread this eyelet onto it all the way. Now you tighten it down and look you're good to go nice and easy right? Well, there's an issue. Now if you install this sensor the way Blackhawk recommends, look at this. Now it's oblong. You know why? Because there's a tape around this crush washer here. You can see it. So it spreads this sensor apart. What do you think that seal does if you're running it like that all the time? Probably leaks a little bit, right? Don't do it Blackhawk's way. All right, the second and third way require you to remove that crush washer off the spark plug. You can do this by putting it in a vise and holding the crush washer, or you could use vise grips or pliers and hold the washer. All right, just like that. No crush washer. All right, once you've removed the crush washer, what you can now do is take the spark plug without the washer, put the sensor on the spark plug, and thread the washer back onto the spark plug. Now obviously when you do that you have two possible sealing surface or failure points. The third way which I think is the correct way is utilizing this as your crush washer leaving the original crush washer off and just taking the spark plug and threading it in. Alright so like I said the recommended way I think is the best way you want to take this thermocouple sensor or this temperature sensor and install the plug on it. Obviously you've removed the crush washer off the plug. So this becomes your crush washer. Alright, give her a good snug fit. I think we're good to go. Now we have a, a temperature reading.